If you or someone you know is struggling with becoming a Christian, I want to share my experience with you because I too struggled when I started my walk with Christ. Let's get right into it. Hello, my name is LS and welcome to my official YouTube channel. On my channel, I will be discussing topics on every aspect of life and the goal is to entertain, educate, and motivate you. I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome back. I want to share my experience with you. Keep in mind, these are just three of many. I will cover others in uh, future recordings, but when I became a Christian, there was three things that I struggled with that made it hard. And now that I look back on it, personally, I laugh about it because it was just excuses. But I hope what I'm about to share with you encourages you and lets you know that you're not alone because you're not. Let's get right into it. Number three, friends. When I started my walk with Christ, one thing that I struggled with is the fact that I may have to give up many friends that I hung out and partied with. And I struggled a lot with that because I felt that I was gonna be alone, that my life was gonna be boring, so giving up friends was a really big struggle for me when I started my walk with Christ because it's a fact when you want to change your life you're gonna have to sacrifice people friends places and things and I struggled with that for years I, I felt God you know calling on me but I wasn't obedient and in the end fast forward Giving up certain friends was a huge blessing in disguise because it made room for new friends, friends that had the that have the same goals, that have the same passions, that love God and are trying to do better and be better because we're all trying. But some of us are just lost. And when you really give your life to Christ, again, you're going to have to make a lot of changes. And giving up those friends helped me stay focused and to do right because I didn't have the bad influence. So if you're struggling with giving up friends, just know that it's a huge blessing in disguise that not all your friendships are going to come to an end, but taking a break is going to be a good thing for you and for them because on your walk with Christ life's going to change for you and you're going to inspire a lot of people including friends that you had to give up but God never forsakens you whenever you give up something for God he always puts in something better so if you're struggling with giving up friends, just know that you're not alone, but it's all worth it in the end. And yes, you're going to go through season of feeling lonely, feeling like your life is boring, feeling like you're missing out on a lot, but it's all preparation. It's all part of the pruning season and great things await you. So I want to encourage you to be obedient. I'm confident that God is leading you and telling you what to do and who to distance yourself from. I want to encourage you to be obedient. I know you can do it and I believe in you. Number two, music. Music was something that I struggled with because I was a huge fan of Tupac and Bone and so many other rappers. And the truth is, is when you start to get closer to Christ, he's going to start to convict you on what you're seeing, what you're listening to. And he's not going to force you to do anything. But when you love him and you continue to grow closer to him, you know that it's the right thing to do and that it's going to help you. And giving up music was one of those things that I really struggled with. I did not want to give up the music. I wanted to continue. And I was uh, being disobedient for a long time, I'll be honest, because of music. And I'll tell you what when i started to distance myself from worldly music it's so beautiful how god started to align and put music or people that were sharing music you know like hey check out this music artist and so on and i can tell you now confidently and honestly that christian music and worship music is the best genres of music 
ever. Now, I do listen to jazz and oldies and so on, but nothing that I'm convicted on, nothing that is talking about explicit stuff that you wouldn't want your kids listening to. But as grown-ups, unfortunately, a lot of grown-ups, including myself, flooded our mind and our ears and our eyes because of the music videos with all this toxic poison. But the music that you listen to is going to build you up. It's going to pour into you. And you're going to agree eventually that, wow, giving up that music was such a huge blessing. And wow, Christian music and worship music is such a beautiful form of music. And you don't regret it in the end because it's a huge blessing. So if you're currently struggling because you don't want to let go of the worldly music, I can tell you from experience, I struggled too. But man, you're going to find out that there is so much music that you love and that you can't live without. And God's going to replace all that poison with music that pours into you and builds you up and doesn't tear you down. If you're struggling, I want to encourage you to be obedient because it's all going to be worth it in the end you can do it and i believe in you i really struggled with is i was worried what people would think about me i was worried that my old friends would laugh at me and criticize me and so on so i struggled a lot because you want to fit in you want to feel like you're a part of whatever friendship circles that you have but i can tell you from experience that in the end you're going to inspire a lot of people by being obedient to God and just focusing on, on what you know you need to do and that is being obedient to God. Friends are too worried about themselves just like you know I know we trick ourselves into believing that people are going to judge us and think about us but the reality is is everybody's focused on themselves and their life and what they're going through that you need to focus on yourself and don't care what other people think about you. The reality is, is you're going to inspire a lot of people and a lot of those people you'll never know that you're inspiring them, but you are when you start to give up alcohol, when you start to change your music, you're going to start to get a glow to you. There's something different about you and it's going to inspire people because the reality is, is no one wants to have toxic relationships. No one wants to be listening to music that tears them down and poisons them and their kids i mean when you really open your eyes and see things different and god is the one that helps us to see things different you'll agree that wow i can't believe that i was flooding my mind with all that poison and i was having those friendships that were not good for me and also i don't know why i cared about what other people think about me because regardless of what you're doing or not doing there's always going to be someone there to unfortunately criticize judge and so on but you got to do what's best for you so if god is telling you to do this or to do that i want to encourage you to be obedient because music in the end there's better music out there for you there's better friendships out there for you there's friendships that you're going to go out and you're going to pour into and inspire. Be obedient. No matter where you are in your walk with Christ, well, there's power in obedience. And you can do it. And I believe in you. So I hope this encourages you. I want you to know that I believe in you and I love you and that you can do it. You know what you need to do. I'm confident again that God is telling you what you should do. I love the fact that he doesn't force us to do anything, but his grace and his mercy is new every day. So it doesn't matter what you did yesterday. You can receive his mercy and his grace today and start being obedient today. I hope you receive it. As always, God bless you and your family in Jesus mighty name. Amen. I hope you receive it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please remember to subscribe. God bless you and your family.